Welcome to our lecture online. Let's now review the Young's, the Shear, and the Bulk Modulus. And we'll do it one at a time. And here, our first video of the three, it's going to be Young's Modulus. So when we either try to compress an object or try to elongate an object by applying a force to it, well, we put in the object under stress. And the result of that is that it will experience a strain. The strain meaning there's going to be a change in the length when we either pull on it or when we push on it. And so here, what we need to know is we need to know the original length of the object, the cross-sectional area of the object, what the object is made out of, so we can go look up on the table and see what the Young's modules is for that particular object. I believe this is the Young's modules for steel. So let's say we have a steel bar and I guess uh, here the unit, here's the information, it's 1.5 meters long, we apply a force of 1,000 newtons and the diameter is 2 centimeters, what will be the change in the length? And it doesn't matter if we try to compress it or elongate it, the result will be the same. So we know that Young's modulus is the ratio of the stress over the strain. The stress is the amount of force you apply per unit cross-sectional area. And the strain is the ratio of the change in the length divided by the original length. And typically they want you to figure out what the elongation is or what the compression is, the change in the length, based upon the amount of force you apply. And so we solve that equation then for the change in length. When we do that, we get this equation. So we multiply the force times the original length divided by the cross-sectional area and divided by the Young's modulus. When we crank away on our calculator, we see that the change in length is going to be very, very tiny. Notice it's 2.39 times 10 to the minus five meters. So it's a small fraction of a millimeter actually because the bar is two centimeters in diameter. That's almost an inch and it's 1.5 meters long, and the force applied at 1,000 newtons isn't that much, so the change in length is going to be minuscule, and that's what we can see here on this. And that is how it's done.